Today I'm talking with Leo Shelton. He's a psychic medium. He can communicate with animals, angels, and cryptids. Remember the Green Goblin video? To telling the little people that live in the Alaska region around me, let's see if you can connect with uh, any of them. So, what I'm getting and what I was getting earlier, remember I was telling you I saw this uh, house, building, two-story, wood planks, kind of off-white, gray, but I also saw some woods. So they're from there, from, uh, there's some type of portal in that area, and I feel that you, you either live close to this, or it's just a representation of where you are, where you live, right? Mm -hmm. um, and because of your intention, and that energy that you're putting out there, because of your interest, and you're putting that out there to the universe, and so they're listening, they're hearing, oh, okay. Sort of like, okay, he's interested in us, so let's, let's see what he's about. And so their energy, they can, I don't know, they're not showing themselves to you specifically, but I feel that they are around you and they're being mischievous and they're coming from some type of portal uh, close to where you live in these woods. That's what I'm getting. Did you have a specific, a specific question or Yeah, I want to know why they, or? why they hide. Okay, your question is, why do they hide from people? They're, all, they're almost kind of laughing at that question, like, why do you think we hide? That's what I'm getting. Seriously, it's like that's... But they hid before white people because their name, Ijigak, means the people that hide. That's the literal translation. They avoid people so hard, I just... for so long. Well, I believe it's um, some type of universal law. That's what the, I'm getting. Um, fear. Because not only are we fearful of them, they are feel for, fearful of us as well. Um, they don't want to be harmed as well. Now, let me see. Yeah, that's, that's all I'm getting uh, in reference to that particular question. Why do they hide? Because they can. <laughs> uh, I think there's some type, uh, they're saying that there's some type of fear uh, as well on both sides. It's almost like, what do you want us to do? Show ourselves and walk around, going to the grocery store, getting cars, <laughs> that type of thing. It's almost like they're they're laughing. They're, I'm serious, Q. They're almost laughing at your question. Okay. Yeah, that, that's because funny. they're that's looking true. at. It's they're looking at. <laughs> this is what I'm seeing. They're looking like really. That's his question. Why do we hide? Well, that was my first question. I, I don't, at first, I thought that was. Like, am I really hearing that? Like, are they really saying that to me? But they really, it's almost like they're uh, laughing at that question. Like, why do they take children? Why do, why do they sometimes take children? Um, okay, you know what? There's one particular one that's kind of stepping out and I can see him. Okay, it's a male. Um, and he kind of looks like that now he's kind of a representation of I think that video that you had on your channel so he's saying <laughs> okay he's saying just like humans you have good people uh, you have people that follow the law you have uh the full spectrum, they have that as well, right? So there's probably, how can I explain this? 
What are you telling me? Okay, he's saying that there's a duality over there as well. And basically there are good goblins and then there are not so good goblins or green people. Uh, what do they call like, themselves? Um, What's their real name? He's spelling out, I don't know how to pronounce it, but he, he I'm seeing like an I. I don't know if that's the name that you just Ishiga? said. Ishiga? But it's something like I-R and maybe T-C-H or something to that effect. Ishiguk. That's how you pronounce it. Ask if that sounds yeah, right. And, and, and he says, yeah, he's saying that that's um, just like, okay, he's giving me a He's giving me a, an, an analogy, just like there are different uh, races of people on this planet, black, white, Chinese, uh, Hispanic. So are they. They have different races or different types of uh, green or goblins, what have you. Ask That's him, what he's, I mean. is it the male or the females that have the horns? He says both. He hmm. says, uh, uh, the females, the horns are smaller, whereas the males, they come out thicker and larger. He's also, he's, he just gave me an example of goats. Goats. Uh, I think both the male and female goat have horns, but there's a, uh, a size difference in them. So he just brought that up into my in my mind as here here's an example we are like this too there are some females that have horns but they're not as huge or pronounced and he's also saying uh, there's like uh, royalty in this in their species so the royalty have like more pronounced uh, features and horns, but both female and males have them. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what he's telling me. Why? Why are they often described as mischievous? Why do they like to be mischievous? Like, I'm just wondering what do they just think it's funny, or are they trying to be mean? Or uh, once again, he's giving me the human example. So it's, it's like, it's why, why, why do people, why do we, why do we have some people who like to do sneaky or mischievous things, whereas some people don't? That's what he's saying. Ask about. It's, 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 it's almost like he's like. Like they're people. They're people. Yeah, there's different personalities. Uh, uh, they're, they're good, they're bad, they're in between. And he keeps, he keeps referring back to human beings. Okay. They're just on a different, they're in the fourth dimension or in the elemental area. Do they call their own world the fourth dimension compared to ours? Or what do they call our world? Um, do they call us a crap place or something? Garbage town? No, he is saying he um, that the energy. What are, you, what are you saying? It's thicker here. Um, that we're not. Oh, okay. He just said that's why they don't appear as much as they. Sure, because we're still evolving. Um, I don't think there's a particular name. He's not telling me a particular name, but uh, that they do know that this is kind of like 
I don't want to. Are you seeing a lower dimension? I guess maybe that's what he's saying. That's what I'm hearing. He's nodding his head yes. Are they so more advanced they, than they us? Do, they do know there's a difference. Are they more advanced um, than us? Um, do they think we're like primitive? He just laughed. He said, some of you are. <laughs> <laughs> like, I literally heard, he's like, he's actually doing like this. He says, yes, yeah, some of you are. What, is he, what do they think uh, of our technology? Like our cars and TVs and everything. Do they think it's cool or interesting or do they think it sucks? Um, he, they're from nature. So they really don't, he's saying, we really don't care about that technology and stuff. They're more about uh, of the earth. Um, it's not, okay, he's saying, like, we don't have cars where we're from, you know. They have the uh, abilities to think of some where they want to go, and then they're there. That's what he's saying. So in a, in a way, uh, Spiritually, that's why they are in the fourth dimension. They are a little advanced in, in that regards. So as far as your question about do, what do they think about our technology, they really don't care. They actually are more concerned about how we treat the earth. Why a lot of us, he's saying, not all of you, but we trash the earth so much. <laughs> And so they're really concerned about that. Ask why when people visit their world, why is there a time change like they go, go forward in the future? Like a distortion of time. Like why does that happen? Why do they go forward in time if they visit? He doesn't understand. How our, like he doesn't understand. What do you if mean? a person visits them, for one minute and watch them and go in their world all there if they left a sled outside where they're watching them the sled will be rotten when they come back because 10 years have went by even though they're only watching them for like a minute okay he's bringing up some uh, <laughs> quantum physics um, But he's saying that that does not necessarily happen all the time. Oh, really? He's, he's saying that if so, if, okay, he's asking me, do you mean a person, a physical person leaving our dimension and physically going into the fourth dimension? Is that, Cause one and little, then coming back? Yeah, little people will, for example, here's a story from one of the villages here. He was walking okay. and he met little people and they asked him if he wanted some tea. So he said, okay. So he went to their underground home and he had tea with them and it was like 10, 20 minutes. And then he left and he was a newlywed. And when he came back, it was 15 years past his pregnant wife, had, his son was an adult and um, his wife was remarried and he was only gone for 30 minutes. Yeah. He's saying that's some type of uh, quantum physics. Uh, because we measure on this dimension, there's a uh, lit, um, how do you say, um, not lineal, is it lineal? Linear? Like, you know, linear, yeah, that's what he's saying. Um, and so, yeah, it's a quantum physics, uh, because I think time, And their dimension is not the same as our dimension. That's what he's saying. Um, yeah. There is a difference. But he's saying also that um, there have been times where but I think this is more of a, the spirit or the soul leaving and visiting and then coming back and everything is still the same. 
You know what I'm saying? Like almost like astral traveling. Um, that's what he's bringing up, and that's what he's saying that where nothing really changes. So if or you go there physically, there, it'll change. 15, physically, it'll change, uh, but not astrally. Yeah, he's saying that as well as um, what are you saying? <laughs> he just did put his hand on his shoulders. It's like maybe I, he's telling me maybe I'm not understanding what he's trying to say. He's trying to have patience with me. I said, I'm communicating back to him like, yeah, I really don't understand what I'm trying to express what you're telling me to you. Um, and it's not coming out like with definite answers. Uh, he's laughing at me. Like, they seem to have a good sense of humor. Yeah. I just keep, he's doing like this. Okay, help me out here. Tell me, ask your question again, Keith. Let me see if I can get it. So when people physically go there, they will go, there will be a time distortion or a time interference with us in relation to this reality and their reality. Okay. Quantum physics. He's just saying that's really, you need a, he's, <laughs> now he's joking on me. He says, I'm not the person to be able to translate Oh. to get the answer that you want um, and that's okay because like I, I'm still you know I'm still kind of not understanding how quantum physics works but there is um, he says that there is an answer but is it possible for them to, I, I would like to meet them is it possible for me to meet them absolutely he absolutely said, he said yes yeah he's, he's nodding how could head. I Though. His little ears what do I have are to like do? flapping. Um, well, you just have to set the intention. Set the intention, he's saying, and set the time and place. How about tonight, I go so, out in the country and I go out in the country and try to meet them. Right. Tell so them. you can you can do that. You can physically set the like it's almost going into a meditative state, right? You're sitting down and you're saying, you're setting the attention, the setting the energy out that, hey, I would like to meet you guys physically. Okay, and I got another question. Are they, do they want to remain hidden from humans and no cameras or do they mind cameras? Or do they want to remain hidden? Immediately he says, we're not ready. Some, like for example, you, and other people who have uh, interest and who are benevolent or come with a curiosity and compassion, those type of things, they will, and that's the same with all elementals, he's saying, that they, they can appear. But you have to be at a certain so energy they don't and be filmed. a peaceful state. They don't want to be filmed. Um, he's saying that 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 it is a possibility that they will allow to us or to you you for example to film them um, and then also he's saying that there's some type of uh, energy that they really have to drop the energy um, really low to to appear in full flesh because there's a, a energy difference here, right? Um, but he says, yeah, that is a possibility. And he says, okay. He's saying that he will come and meet you. 
Okay. I'll be willing and I promise not to be scared or to do any violence. I promise. Right. And that's all you have to do, Q. You all, all you have to do is set that intention. And you already have uh, a picture or image of how they look. And so this particular one, because that's why earlier when I was telling, talking to you, that I really felt that there was something around you, that there's uh, energy in your area. And that's him. That's this, this uh, How f- element of this goblin or green man. And I see this like uh, greenish glow about him. Ask him. And he's. Do I have to I'm go? Sorry, sorry. Do I have to go like way out in the country to meet him or what do I have to do? He just sent me an image of him appearing in your apartment. So he's saying that you don't have to travel far. Oh. Okay. Because he's, that's, that's what I was saying. Do you live close to, or is there like a patch of woods or trees or something like, like a, uh, uh, how do you say? They're all over around Almost, us. It's everywhere okay. so in every direction. So I don't know which one to go okay. to. It's literally you know, he everywhere. Says, yeah, he's saying that uh, they are everywhere. They, on, in their dimension, they're everywhere, right? So if it's not like on 25th and 5th Avenue, you're going to know. That's why I was saying that they're in, I kept seeing these woods in that building. So he must, there must be a portal very close to you, Um but he's saying that you don't have to uh, physically go out in the woods. You can actually be in your home and set the intention, um, and he will appear. Okay. Like, seriously, like, he's, he's nodding his head, yes. Ask him what kind of stuff they like as gifts. <laughs> he just said something sweet. Um, but then also, okay, he just said something sweet, and then he just showed me an image of an orange. So I'm getting some type of fruits as well. Okay. Maybe even, um, you know how during the holidays, you may set out a bowl of fruits or something like a really special platter or something like that with the intention of the guests that come visit you that they can eat from it. It's you, you did this special dish or whatever for your guest. You know how you do something like that for your friends and family? Well, you can do that for him. Okay. He will come. One. And so he's, he's okay, real quick, he's saying again, um, uh, fruits, uh, sweets, and then he, <laughs> they, he eats meat as well. He, he just uh, told me chicken. <laughs> I swear to you, there's, he's sending me, a, uh, I see this picture of some fruits, apples, oranges. Uh, and he's not scared sweets. of cameras. That's amazing. I, I really. It's, it's it's not it's not really like a necessary uh, him being scared, but there's some type of um, like everyone is not ready. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like breaking a law. There's some type of universal law that there's certain things that they're not able to do, or because there's. I don't know how to. We're not that advanced as a race, as so a human species. So they won't allow species. it then. No filming. I'm not saying that they won't allow it. Um, he's telling me. Okay, he's telling me that what's going to happen is there's going to be phases or levels or stages of him coming to see you. Right. Okay. He's saying the first stage will be you will hear him and maybe see him via your third eye. 
right? Do you understand that? Like you'll see maybe um, uh, a dream visitation, right? And um, just to see how you react. Uh, that would be like the first stage. So maybe you're in your living room and you set the intention, you're you welcoming him. So the first thought, the first stage is him, just you hearing him. You'll know it's him because uh, you know your inner voice is different from. I could hear it when it's different. An outer uh, a voice from something out of your body, right? So you'll know. Uh, so that's going to be stage one, he's saying. So it'll be you hearing him. I'm home and alone then, for three weeks. Nobody here but me. Um, then you'll probably see him um, through your third eye, right? Uh, and it's really, he's saying, it's really up to you how quickly these stages come by and how you react. So you, the hearing him, seeing him, feel your third eye, and then maybe seeing something off your peripheral. Uh, and then him appearing in front of you. It's gonna be just like that. That's what he's telling me. It's going like this. Do they know about me before? Yeah. How? I'm telling you, that's what I was telling you earlier, that when you started uh, doing these videos and having these interests, you've basically sent an uh, like a phone call out saying, hey, I'm interested in these type of, and they hear you. There is really like an energy bubble you sent out to the universe. And they heard you. That's why I kept saying there's something around you. There's something, this building in the woods. I'm surprised. I've, I'm really surprised that you haven't. Uh, I don't know how long you've been in, interested. If it's For been a long time. Or, is it, would you say years or within say over 10 year? years? Over 10 years? Like wow. 15, 20 years, something like that. That's why they, I kept getting this feeling that they were around you and that there's something uh, in your area. Can so they, now, go ahead. Can they teach? Can they teach me? Like if I, I want to learn from them a lot. Actually, yeah. I wish he's saying that um, he's going to be the representative. He's a brave one, huh? That's why he kind of stepped out. I let me tell you, Q, initially, it was, I could hear him. I couldn't see anything initially when we first started. And then, he, I, I guess, not I guess, but mentally I was saying, please show yourself, come. I'm talking to you, but at the same time, I'm sending out, please just appear in front of me. And so then he just kind of stepped out of this green mist, this uh, almost like a portal, and now he's here with me. So uh, he's saying, I'm, I'm asking for his name so that you can actually call his name. Because he's saying that he will come, he will be the one. That's why he appeared to me. He's like, I'm representing my species, almost like. He knows what's going name. on with me. He knows that I'm going to be a good representative. There, there are many, I'm telling you, Q, I don't know how else to express this. When you started doing this, now, this is just me... Uh, just getting recent, right? But like you said, you've been doing this for 10, 15 years. So they are well aware of you. And I'm, I'm, that's why I'm really surprised you haven't had, or I don't know, maybe you haven't expressed to me or told me yet, but any type of dream visitations or seeing something from so the corner of your eye. One time I was in Astro 
and something was talking to me in a weird voice, like, can you ask him about that? Was that them or was that something else? He, he's saying that's, um, he's saying that's not, well, he's saying that's not, that wasn't me. But uh, just like we have different races here, black, white, whatever, well, they have different races or, or species of them as well. And he's saying that was, uh, okay, he's, oh, he's bringing, he's bringing, he's bringing out, okay, he's bringing out someone else. Tell, tell him I wasn't scared at all when that happened. I wasn't scared at all. They know that, right? So this one is like a dark, charcoal like some like a dark color like I see orange like there's some color some brightness orange there's this dark and there's this brightness in his eyes like we have whites in our eyes well there that white part is like an orange like a glow I've heard maybe that. like a green glow I've heard of That's that species. Who, so, okay, let's step back for a minute. He's telling me his name begins with an M. So he's he's saying to me, have, tell him to call me M. M. I'm Q. <laughs> he's like, yeah, because I'm at. It almost sounds like a Mar Mar. I, I almost want to say Mark. He says, no, no. Leo, just call me M. Tell him to call me M. So this green goblin, he wants to call himself a green man. Okay. I don't have to call him goblin. Uh, he's saying green man. He says, call me M. This is how you're going to connect. Okay. So whenever you set the intention, just say M. M, now we've got that. M brought out the one that you just talked about, the brrr, you know, that funny. And this one is very mischievous. He's kind of hunched over and he's kind of laughing. Like, I don't <laughs> mind. I like, think yeah, that's I hilarious that. too. He can he's mess with me all he wants. He's, he's got a kind of this, I want to say charcoal color to him with this orange in his eye, the black pupil. And it's, he's got pointy teeth. He looks kind of scary. Ask him why he was talking to me. What was he trying to say? I couldn't understand a word he said. He says it's their own language. Um, he was just playing with you. He was messing with you. He was just trying to see if you would freak out. I didn't. <laughs> this is, let, let me tell you, this is the one. That's the one you heard. He, the M told him to come out. They must be kind of cloaked. I get this feeling that there's a bunch of them. They're all, I can sense them. So but they're not showing themselves to me. What is so it? green, man, the M is out, and he brought out the one that did that. So what did the charcoal one think of me? Because I didn't get scared at all. What did he think of me? He just straightened up. He's, he's like, I'm impressed. Man, and he's I don't, laughing. He's like, I think I'm it's impressed. cool. I love, I love mischievous. I think it's hilarious. They can do that to me all they want. M, M is saying that um, they have appeared, but off. They've been okay. He's saying they that they've been watching you. They've been around you for a while. That's why I. I once again, I know I'm repeating myself. That's why I kept getting this strong feeling that there was something around you. It's them. And I want to be M has come that. out. M has come out. The This charcoal orange eye one has come out. The, he's very mischievous. He's kind of laughing and going like this. Uh, he's kind of similar to how M looks. But instead of that green glow, he's like a charcoal, 
almost like a charcoal green, earthy look, cool. color, right? So M says, yeah. Now you know his name. You can call on him. Um, tell him I didn't and it's freak gonna, out. That should be proof that I'm not going to do anything to them. They're both. They're, that's why they've been around you. And there's other behind. There's many others. Good. You know what? You know what, Q? It's almost like this is what they're showing me now. It's almost like you and I are on some type of stage or TV show and we have an audience. Like we're in some type of theater. And those two have come out, but there are many more out out sitting, for example, like sitting out and they're watching and they're listening. Are they trying they've to... Been, they've been with you for a long time. Are they the ones responsible for my good random fortune that's been happening to me? Um, are they pushing it or something? No. Not, I guess it's just luck. No, you have you have a team of angels and spirit guides, Q, um, that are that is helping you with that. But when it comes to the elementals, that remember the umbrella name, elementals, and those particular ones, goblins, green men, uh, leprechauns, divas, brownies, etc. What they're telling, well, what M is telling me is they're kind of helping guide you through your research and, how do you say, influence what you've learned so far. You know what I'm saying? Like they're uh, influencing you, uh, maybe like giving you thoughts and like, okay, I need to call this person or I need to read this book. Like, it's coming from them. But as far as your life and how things are going, that's a totally different realm. Uh, that's your spirit guides, your archangel. These are uh, beings from love and light. So, yeah. So the little people, they kind of like me then, huh? Oh, yeah. You have, you have an audience. I like, and I'm, I always I'm, want to be you friends know what? with them. I'm, I'm telling you, you're going to you're going to see this, what I'm seeing. I really see that we're kind of center stage. The spotlight is on us. And if I look out, there's like a, a sea of people watching us with M and this other kind of mischievous guy that was talking his language to you. They've kind of stepped out, but everyone else is kind of cloaked or out in the audience. So, yeah, you have. It's almost like, you know, it almost feels like a celebrity, like you're a celebrity to them. Are they happy that I'm not demonizing them or something? I try to yeah, demonize exactly. them. exactly. Exactly. That's what it is. You're almost, it's like you're an ally. That's what I'm getting from him. And he's saying, yes, exactly. Because it's prejudice. And if you're watching. It's prejudice to hate them just for looking different. It's, pe- it's prejudice. You should judge them on how they, what they do, not what they look like. Right. I think they look cool. I've never seen one, but the description sounds pretty cool. Well, M says you're going to see him. Good. I hope so. M. I vow not to freak out. R. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, at, it's at night. I'm watching a scary movie. It appears, ha! Ah! I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing at that. He's like, laughing and the the charcoal earthy colored one he's really laughing i'll forgive him if they do that though because that's not really green m says he won't do that but the charcoal gray let's just call him earth tone i'm just going to call him because he's not giving me his name he's very mischievous very silly i was mischievous too when i was younger he's he, he's the one that's going to come out. And that's, it's not going to be like a physical thing, but you're going to see it in your mind's eye. Hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. And you're going to like jump because it's we'll going to seem like 
it's physically there. We'll but see. it's going to be a mind's eye type of thing. We'll see if I jump. Yeah. He's up for the challenge. <laughs> the, earth, the earth tone. He's, he's telling me, yeah. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I'm not really scared of ghosts or anything, so. Because I've had spirits but, talk to me, and I'm like, like, leave me alone. Like, I'm trying to sleep, you know? Right, right. So that's why I'm, now this is just me, and they're just kind of standing there. But that's why, um, and I know we, we've just met, and you haven't shared everything. But I keep, intuitively, I'm getting that you've seen them or you felt them. Mm-hmm. Feel stuff Maybe around me that, sometimes. Yeah, but I don't know what and it is. So, yeah, and they're saying that you can actually ask, like, who who is that? You don't have to verbally say it, but you can think it, and they will they will reply. I don't know if you've done that, and maybe you you've, you actually got an answer, but maybe you discounted like, ah, oh, that's just my imagination. But Are they've been with you for a long time. Are they scared of me because I'm big? Or would they be scared of my size? It's not, uh, how do you say, it's not really a fear thing. Okay. Good. Maybe some of them. Maybe some. Because I don't want to scare them. But like, but like M and this mischievous one, there, there are others out there that are not really afraid of you okay. or of you. Because I like, I, like I like how they're brave. Some of them, that's cool. Yeah, that's interesting. It sounds like you really are communicating with them, and be, the reason. Well, they, oh, I'm I, sorry. Go I've ahead. heard of those gray, are those black looking ones with orange eyes. That's why I was, I was impressed at you because people see the black ones like that, the green ones and golden ones like tan. Those are the three types that they see around here. I don't know if there's other types, but. Okay, you know I get this feeling that M. It's kind of like a leader because as soon as you brought up the tan one, did you say tan? Yeah. A- another one has just come out. So they're all three standing. I see them. Huh. So the green one, why does the, why does the one that liked me happen to be green or wants to talk to me? He's just a leader or something? Um, so which question are you asking or why is okay, it like, green or why does why out of all the little people why is it a green one that wants to talk to me um i think they all would like to introduce themselves to you I'm okay but i believe uh the green man um at least he for some reason he's the one when we first started i wasn't seeing anything i was just hearing him Right, but then he stepped out because he's. I guess he feels. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I feel sorry for you because you were struggling. <laughs> he's that. <laughs> he says, Leo, you were struggling, so I decided to show myself to you. That's why he just kind of came out, but. Uh, the reason why he's now he's answering why he's green um, it all has to do with uh, nature they're from mother earth they're from the earth from Gaia right uh, and I believe okay he's telling me that the color of them also represents their uh, how do you say their power enlightenment or their evolvement you know what I'm saying like how, how like, powerful they are it's not really our but how evolved they are okay yeah that's what he's saying it's some type is of green uh, the highest uh, he just said no there's like this uh, there's many colors What's the I'm, highest color? I'm, I'm, I'm seeing pink. I just saw a violet blue. But uh, in their particular species, there's this uh, green gold aura. 
they all kind of have the same look, right? This nose and this, I mean, they're, excuse me, they're not what we would consider beautiful. You know, you look wouldn't tough? see them. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm telling them, I said, you wouldn't be on the cover of a magazine. What do they and think of laughing. us, though? Do they think we're ugly? He's laughing. Um, the same thing we think of them, they think of us. Like, he, he see, he, they also see uh, what, what they consider, like, um, beautiful, like, They, they kind of almost judge us, too, on our looks as well. Do they know anything about healing? Because I have autoimmune disease, and I can't cure um, myself fully. He immediately says, um, Mother Earth. Like, basically, yeah. There are herbs, um, and I plant want- life that you can take. Uh, that will help you with with your auto auto immune. Yeah, but I meet them also, and learn from them. also that's part of your contract too. He's saying that's you um, <clears throat> that you wrote that into your contract to have this. So there are lessons for you to learn um, with this auto immune. And he's saying that. Uh, When you guys develop a stronger, I don't know, friendship or bond, he will go into that. Auto. So, do they look cool or it's just scary to you? He just, when you, as soon as you said that, he just put on a hat with the feather and it tilted down like, like he's saying, what do you think? Is this cool? How tall are they? Are they like one foot or three footers? These little goblins. Uh, as I as I'm seeing him, he looks huge. But I would say he's anywhere. Okay, he's telling me three, four, four feet. Hmm, that's big. His, M is four. Okay. He's like, he's almost like muscular. Dang. He he almost, <laughs> he just laughed because I, <laughs> I brought up Shrek. So I was like, he almost, I, I'm, in my mind, I'm telling him, you almost look like a Shrek. And he just started laughing. So he looks kind of, huge and big up here upper body and then it kind of slims down in the legs does that make can you picture that because i'm telling you if you can uh picture him like in that video that you have and what i'm describing what i'm seeing that could be one way of him showing himself quicker to you you know those little stages he's saying first you hear them second you may they teach me their bodybuilding secrets he says he he shakes his head at you he says you and your questions (laughs) that's funny he's really laughing at you he says he will teach you whatever you want to learn like seriously I I really would like for us to have like a part two of this Okay. And he, he wants, because he's going to show himself to you. And uh, it'll be an interesting uh, phase. All right. So th- there's going to be another part to this. I'm going to focus on trying to have him show him or try to make him meet me and put my tent out there. I was, I was going to go way out in the tundra tonight and try to meet little people, try to see them. But I guess I just have to stay in my apartment. I think he's, it's going to be him that's going to appear to you first, but the charcoal earthy tone is going to be messing with you. That's fine. 
he's saying he's saying that uh, he's going to continue to to mess with you. But it's almost like uh, a jovial. You know how guys, when we we get together, we kind of prank and joke and rip yeah. on each other. That's yeah. what I that's what I get from him. So he's going to play pranks, and you're going to know it's him because immediately you're going to see him, just like how you described him that that charcoal, that earthy tone uh, with the orange in his eyes, and cool. I kind of see I see. He's laughing at me because I'm about to describe his teeth. They look kind of yellow and dirty, <laughs> they're, but they're little points, like almost like uh, ragged teeth, almost like a, like an alligator or crocodile. But you know those little sharp points. When he smiles, he's got like a little smile. His everything is is dark, but his teeth are kind of like this yellow, you know, yellow to them. Almost like the the orange of his, almost the same color of the orange of his eyes. He's laughing at me with my description. Um, but yeah, he's going to continue to prank. M is going to show himself out. He's saying uh, he's going to start Phase one is going to be tonight with you maybe hearing and or uh, a dream visitation. All right. I hope it does happen. It'll be interesting. It will. It will. He's saying it will. It will. As long as you, you've already got the, how do you say, the positive energy, the intention about you. So... Uh, I'm kind of feeling like you and I meeting the way we did. This was a synchronicity. Remember how I was talking like I really felt that this is just the beginning of something that could, you know. Uh, so like this was supposed to happen, like this is their way of kind of introducing themselves to you. Good. Yeah. I want to yeah. make people not fear them or demonize them I feel I just worry that the more that's discovered about them um, people will figure out how to travel between the worlds and start killing them or thinking they're demons or whatever quick question he just brought up a book have you have you been thinking about writing writing a book about not about them, them but I am writing a book about shamanism all right because when you said um, that you, you want to share with people that you don't have to be scared of them, blah, blah, blah. He's saying that it's going to come out in a book. You're going to write a, a book. And he's going to help you. And so it's going to be, you're going to be like the expert guy, the go-to guy about this particular realm and this particular uh, species of elementals. I just, he, as you were saying, hey, you know, I really want to, he was saying a book. He's going to write a book. Eventually, you're going to write a book about it. You're going to be like the expert guy. That's what he's telling me. That'd be cool. There'd be an emissary, like first contact with them. That'd be awesome. Kind of like making alien contact with an alien race. I know natives used to meet with them, but... It's not like on a global scale like how it is now. You know what I mean? Right. He's saying that you have the potential. You're, he's telling me your life path in regards to this particular interest of yours uh, can be huge. When I say to you, Q, that you're going to write a book you're going to be the expert. You're going to be the go-to guy. You're going to be the one that people uh, call uh, to be interviewed or to be on their shows. Huh. I, I kind of, he's like really showing me this, that, uh, that that is your potential path. If you stay uh, committed, because we have free will, 
so you can always change and you know you you always have choices but he's showing me that this is a, a possible path for you to go on to really become an expert in this uh, on them or that particular uh, elemental green man leprechauns goblins he just said the ugly people that sounded mean to himself <laughs> he just said yeah the ugly people the physically ugly people and he's just comparing that to what we believe as human beings what's beautiful and what's ugly you know he's just kind of making a joke well as long as they think they're each other is attractive that's cool I don't really mind if yeah. they look different I ain't gonna right. discriminate don't bother me yeah he's saying that uh, they have that in their world as well like beautiful ugly uh <laughs> But I don't know, it's almost like um, they really don't pay attention to that, but at the same time they do. I mean, they're they're really fourth dimensional people, so they're not, you know, six, seven, eighth, ninth, tenth dimensional where they're just pure light and love. They have, you know, emotions, personalities, uh, they're bad ones, good ones. There's just one dimension more, so. There are they are really close, almost like cousins to the human being race. Right? That's awesome. So that's why when you were asking the questions like, why won't they show themselves? Why do they kidnap and eat babies or whatever that question was? This was before he showed himself to me, and I was just hearing him. He says because we have <clears throat> we have. Um, the same as you have good people and bad people we also have that here in this room so they're just people and they vary right right you never know which one you're going to meet so the trickster one he's uh harmless but he's just trying to mess with me and he wasn't able to scare me he's like huh you can scare him (laughs) he's laughing and he's going He's scratching his head. He's got this. He's like thinking of some things to do to you. Now, of course, okay, the green uh, M is saying, of course, they're not going to physically harm you. And uh, the, the dark, I, I wish he would give me a name, but he's not giving me a name. And I keep calling him charcoal or earth tone. And he's laughing. He's like, I don't care. I don't care about names. <laughs> So he's saying, I'm not going to physically harm you, but I'm going to prank you because that's my personality. That's who I am. So, yeah, expect that. How old do they get? Uh, hundreds. I'm hearing hundreds. They immediately said hundreds. hundreds Can they make years. it so I live the same amount? Um, well, you're, he, <laughs> they laugh. Once again, M is like, really? Your questions. <laughs> Um, he's saying your soul is infinite but your body will eventually die off yeah but I want to live to be like a thousand your soul will no my body your spirit will no (laughs) he's saying no (laughs) (laughs) man I was hoping he'd ask that trick actually um, now my guide my spirit guide is telling me that is a possibility because there are humanoid extraterrestrials that are like 400 years old, a thousand years old, and they look as young as you do. Damn. But that's like way like in the future. Man, I'd love, to, I'd love for you evolve. to channel one of them and be like, hey, fly down here and, and do that uh, procedure on me. The M is saying that you're like you're almost like a teenager with your <laughs> with your it's almost like a wonderment. And he he love he loves that about you. 
and they and the people that are here, I call them people because they're, let's just say that, the crowd, that's what they love about you, your wonderment, your fascination. Uh, it's almost like an inner child, your inner child. Yeah, I really yeah. want to learn about all this stuff. I think it, the re- main reason I wanted to meet the little people is so I can learn from them. I didn't want to like capture them or do anything to them. I just wanted to learn. Like, they know stuff we don't, like, I, like stuff that I'd never be able to attain on my own. You know what I mean? Like, they know so much more. All right, well, I hope he meets me soon. It'd be cool. It's going to happen. I can't wait for you to message me, too. You're going to be like, Leo, guess what? I'll definitely you know you're probably, if it happens. Huh? Yeah. You, you're going to... For me, I would be like, oh my God, blah. But you, you're gonna be like, guess what, man? Guess what I, cause you're, that's, that's your energy. You're very <laughs> chill. I, I, if you and I were like, if we knew each other physically, I could see that you would always be this, every once in a while you, but a majority of you is like, yeah, I just experienced that. All right. You know? <laughs> this is interesting, man. Um, maybe we should... Do you want to keep talking or do you want to go on another topic? Oh, uh, I don't know. It's up to Ask you. Ask them if they have anything else they want to tell me, the little green Oh, okay. He says, call me M. M. And the, the other one says, call me charcoal. Charcoal. All right. Charcoal, charcoal and M. <laughs> um, I'm asking them now. Okay, so someone else just came out, and this is a female, a female version of M, like from their species, right? Because she's got the same green uh, glow, but she's got a more, you know, feminine features. Um, Okay. You uh, you know the Muppets, you know Miss Piggy? <laughs> For some reason, she kind of looks like Miss Piggy in the face. Hmm. <laughs> and she's laughing that, that I, my, because a lot of times with, when I channel, um, the associations will come from my experiences or what I've seen in my life and what I've experienced and what I, uh, based on my memories. And so for some reason, I'm sure she doesn't look exactly like Miss Piggy, but for some reason, the association came up. You know what I'm, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Of course, she doesn't look like Miss Piggy. She looks like M, but for some reason, I associate her kind of so she just kind of came out um, I think she's telling me that her and him are they're in a relation like in a relationship congratulations she's like peeking out now she's stepping out she just wanted to say hello. And she's laughing. She's laughing at you and your and your questions. She must have been sitting out in that audience that I was telling you that I sense, even though I can't see them, I sense like a many people, like we're in a, a, a theater and the, the audience is full, like a full house. Anyway, so she's... She's come out. Um, I'm asking them, do they want to share anything else with you? Okay, M is saying that he 
even though you mentioned, you said you're writing a book, but it's not about them. He says he wants you to start journaling. I don't know if you, well, you may have a video log because you have all your videos, but uh, to actually start writing, maybe based off what you've uh, uh, gained from the videos and your experiences. Um, but also from M. And also, uh, they're telling me that you should meditate as well, because a lot of ideas and uh, communication from M will be through meditation. Okay. So it won't, it, like I said, you know, there's going to be phases, and then eventually they will, M will uh, fully appear, but it's going to be uh, uh, step by step. And I really feel if you, when you meditate and you make that commitment and set that intention, which you already basically have, uh, that process will come about. And I really feel strongly if you start a journal, um, and maybe he will even say that to you when he, as he's uh, communicating and you're building a relationship with him. Yeah, I really want you to gotta physically w- see him. Yeah. Um, let me see. Anything else? They just want want you to continue to do what you're doing. Um, they consider you an ally. And now I'm hearing, <laughs> we're getting like almost like a standing ovation. So like the others I can't see, I, I hear this applaud. It's almost like it, the show is over. So there's really... Tell them that if they want, they can surround me and overpower me. That way I can't do anything. And I'm fine with that. <laughs> that way they can feel safe showing themselves. No. Emma saying, no, 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 that's not, that won't be necessary. <laughs> he's like, he's really cracking up at how you, what you say. He, he really, th- he, you're making him laugh so much. Well, it's okay. I mean, I'm just saying like, that will make them feel safer. That's fine with me. Get like a yeah. gang of like 50 of them and surround me. I'll be like, okay. Uh, <laughs> but he's saying that um, even though that's why I'm going right back to the building, uh, that great building in the forest around you, they're there. They're with you. They just haven't physically shown themselves. But I really think that's about to change. Like this video what we're doing now is it's almost like a like i feel like a catalyst of a spark like some now this is the foundation and now we can you will now go on to the next phase and level of your path of your journey with these uh elementals let's just say elementals and nature uh, because they're governed by angels Right, hmm. uh, the archangels, the nature angels. So now, okay. So that's going back to your questions about why they do certain things and why they don't do certain things because of this. Uh, you know, there are universal laws out there, right? Probably so many that we only know, like the universal law of attraction, the universal law of free will. All these different, but they're they're also under uh, laws that there's certain things they can't do. Um, there's certain things that they can do, right? Um, and you'll understand that as you build your relationship with him. All right. That's basically it. That's it. Um, Okay, so he's saying thank you so much. He's thanking me, but he's really thanking you. He's looking forward to now 
making an appearance. It's really going to happen. So he was and waiting I, for this co- me to communicate with him before this started. Like, like this was supposed to happen. Like, I really feel that this synchronicity, how I came upon your channel. Remember when we initially talked? I told you. I think it was like I was on YouTube, and I can't remember the video now, but it was off to the right where it said re- recommended recommended to see or whatever that they say off to the right with all the different thumbnails. I saw yours off in it. I looked and I said, huh, and I clicked on it. So that to me, that's just not a, you know what I'm saying? Like a random thing. Yeah. My channel's like, pretty like small this, still. Right. That I was supposed to be like, this was supposed to happen. Like him was supposed to appear. Um, along with Charco and, and the audience that you have here that is with you. Can they hear me when and I talk to them? Like all the time? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. They, I'm telling you, Q, they really know you. That's why I really felt the strong, like you're, they're around you. They're with you. They just haven't shown themselves. But now because of this interview and this channeling and, and me being able to communicate with them, that's all about to change. Awesome. Hope so. It really is. It really is. And they're sending that loud and clear to you, huh? It, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. This is a very clear channeling for you, wasn't it? At first it was rough. I've got to tell you. That's why I was like, you and I talking, that's great. But I'm also talking and saying, like, I was like, please show up or let me see who you are. Or can you explain that in a different way? Because I'm I'm not sure how to say it out of my mouth to you. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was really struggling in the beginning. And then that's when he said, well, that's why I came from behind the cloak or the curtain. So have you to show myself. And as soon as, if you, when you go back and watch this, you'll see there's a, a slight difference once I say, hey, Q, he, he just came out and showed himself. They saw that I was struggling because <laughs> I was just hearing them. I didn't see it was a black space and I could just. Uh, Would they show you themselves to you physically? In, um, if I wanted to see them, I'm sure they will. I don't. I'm. I can see them via my third eye, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't want to physically see them. Not that I'm scared of anything, but I'm okay because my my third eye is wide open. I I see a lot. And my third eye opened for a while once, but it was only for like ten minutes. It was really weird. And that's really interesting because of uh, how you eat. Um, I'm thinking you eat healthy, right? Uh-huh. So I'm thinking your your third eye should be really, you should be able to see a lot more. I mean, an example of that is when you astral travel, right? Don't you see a lot of, so don't say, don't, don't put a limit on yourself. I really feel that your third eye is wide open. Maybe that particular situation, that 10 minutes, maybe there was some type of blockage because, uh, it was just a weird feeling. I felt like there yeah. was a hole in my forehead, and I was like, and I felt like there was something coming out the middle, and I was like reaching uh-huh. out. That's freaking weird. The way it happened with me, you know how um, when you first wake up, and maybe you have some gunk in your eye, you know, it's like almost hard to open. That's how I, how my third eye opened. It was like. <laughs> had a bunch of gunk and I remember like uh, like I like if I could get up and go to the sink to throw some water on my eyes to clean my eyes I would have done that that's how initially how my the, the process of my third eye opening and now I don't ever have that gunk on my eyes just once I meditate center raise my vibration and energy I'm able to see. All right, Leo, it was really nice talking to you, man. 
It was a good interview. Thanks for thanks to the little people for communicating with you and allowing me to hear them yeah. because I can't do what you do. And I'll definitely, if it's okay with you, be using your services more to try to get more answers to a lot of these paranormal things. So you seem like a really good resource for that. Well, thank you very much. Um, it's my pleasure. And um, M and Charcoal, and I think M's girlfriend, I think that's who she is. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> they all thank you. And this whole crowd, like I told you earlier, they're all clapping. And so they're really happy. And I really feel they're all saying that, yeah, this was uh, like a phase one, uh, like an introduction. Like you already knew that they were around you. But now you really know. Should just and be now like him is gonna come. Should just be like dunking me into a into a vat of a huge pool of icy water. They should just full on show themselves and start talking right away. No preparation, no build up. You know, that's interesting you say that because sometimes we want we can say that, we want that, but M is saying as as well as my guy to my, my spirit guides are saying um, there's a reason why stuff like that doesn't happen and, what and is- when and when it does happen those people are in the news because they've completely gone out of their mind and people are looking at them like they're crazy right so you don't want to have that experience where you're completely dunked in the ice and then you come up and then your family's like okay we need to take you to a mental hospital and you're all, all you're saying is but no it's true i really no 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 you don't want to have that type and when of they experience. show themselves to me like that all of a sudden abruptly they should scream really loud while they're <laughs> they should just appear and be like ah! <laughs> you're, you're crazy man just go all in they're all laughing they're all <laughs> laughing at you oh my gosh but uh, so they they thank you. They really they really look forward to um, continuing, especially him. Uh, I think he's going to be. I really feel he's your guide. And I, I really want to say to you when you when he when you have your own personal one on one relationship that you can actually talk to him and say, Hey, are you really? Like one of my guides, because we so. all have several spirit guides. And I really feel that, once again, you're from that realm, your soul is, or at least your soul visits that realm a lot. And Ilm is, um, now he's not that particular green goblin. From the video? Right. That he's, was he's an... saying, no, 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 that's that's not me. That's like a res- uh, representation of their species or race, but he's an actual real, he's saying green man or a real green uh, elemental, okay. right? Yeah. Awesome. That'd be cool to meet him. Okay. Yeah. That, that, that's going to happen. It really is. Yeah. I hope they, hope they appear and just start screaming at me out of the blue. <laughs> you hit, they're <laughs> laughing at you so much. <laughs> this cream thing. <laughs> They disappear. Ah, I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> Gentle introduction to them. <laughs> Just dunk me in the cold water. I'm ready for it. <laughs> the green man, uh, Ilm is saying he won't do that. But Charco is saying he can get some buddies together and make that happen. <laughs> I'll probably. All right. I'll be ready for it. Just don't do it when. Um, like no, when no. He said. He, he just stopped you right there. He says, don't. No. You can't make any type of, uh, what you, uh, what's it? Do when it when I'm alone. Make, That's all I have to ask. Yeah. He said, he said, you can't, he said, when it happens, it's going to happen. He says, there's no, don't do it while I'm eating cereal. Don't do it while I'm driving. He says, no, there are no, all rules. If he does it while I'm driving, I'm probably going to die. <laughs> he's saying all rules are out the door. There are no rules. He says, you want that? M is just standing there, quiet. But the charcoal, let's just call him charcoal. He's saying, oh yeah, we can make that happen. All right. 
he must he must hang with a gang of misfits or something. He's I really get this. Yeah, I really get this mischievous like. He thought it was funny. He, I bet, man. He's gonna laugh when I get if I get scared. Probably would do it in the middle not, of the night. They're not negative. You know, they're not evil. They're not negative, and they like that you are saying that about them that they're not necessarily evil demon you know like that type of thing but just like humans they have a playful side they have a mysterious side they have a prank side and Chalco is and he has he must have like a game I, I see him with he's showing me like yeah he hangs with a gang of, of, of misfits or something and they're going to do like that me. to you I was like, I used to be. Yeah. Okay. So thank you. Yep. Thanks, man. And I really appreciate you having me on, and I look forward to uh, doing this again. Thank you so much. Thank you. See ya.